Okay, uh, Kenny and Sabrina from uh, Moving Forward. We're really looking forward to uh, taking you guys out while we're in Iowa in the Jeep, maybe having some fun over there. But I promise you, until you come to Colorado with us, we're never going to have the kind of fun that we can have here in Colorado. Can't wait to take you guys on one of these. We're rafting. Yeah, we're rafting now. Mm -hmm. Can't go rafting right now because of my foot. Yeah. So we gotta come back. So I've got something to show you guys. Um, remember back when we bought the uh, New Forza, back when we bought J Java, uh, we had Litson RV put a special coating on there for us on the entire RV. Uh, and it's a five year coating and it's supposed to help you keep the RV clean and you're not supposed to have to wax it for five years. And I think that uh, came at a cost uh, seems like it was about $1,200 added to the cost of the RV or something like that. And I kind of thought, uh, you know, okay, I'll give it a shot, but I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I'm getting scammed on this deal. <laughs> you know, I mean, special coating, right? Well, as it turns out, a lot of RV parks don't like for you to wash your RV while you're in their RV park. And there's, uh, I guess, various reasons for this. I can't imagine it being about the cost of water. Uh, it's more probably more about, uh, you know, runoff um, or something like that. Uh, so what do you do if uh, your RV's in bad shape, you know, dirty? There's not a uh, truck wash or RV wash around. Uh, you're getting ready to leave like, you know, tomorrow and you don't want to travel in an RV that you came here uh, in uh, and got it all dirty and uh, looking like crap. <laughs> what do you do? Well, uh, let me show you what I did. Uh, this morning I took uh, a bucket of clean water and a couple of rags and got my ladder out. This is what the RV looked like before. And I hope you can see this. You may have to, you know, use full screen or something. But uh, as you can see, Java is pretty dirty. Okay, all over. Really dirty. And you can see, uh, hope you can see how dirty that top rail is or that, uh, you know, where it comes over the top on the roof there. See how dirty that is? And the entire coach is like that. Uh, when we first got here, because we came across the Oklahoma Panhandle, the front of the coach was pretty much caked with a thin layer of mud because the wind was blowing up the dust and then the uh, dew in the morning was making it stick and it, it was just caked. So I sprayed that off, uh, you know, kind of right when we got here so I could claim that I didn't understand the instructions or didn't read them. Didn't read the rules yet, <laughs> uh, but I got that done and I told them I was going to do it when we got here and they didn't say anything about it so I just did it. Now what I've done today is I've just taken a couple of rags and some fresh clean water, bucket water, I'll show you that. And uh, that top up there, I hope you can see the difference in the side that I've done and the side that I haven't done just uh, you know wiping it off with a wet rag okay and then you uh, come over here oh look at this we got uh, we got a big old mountain air coming in let's see if we can get them to wave there we go we got a wave out of them yay so 
I'll wait till they get by here. It's a nice mountain air, check that out. Okay, so anyway, all I did here was uh, I took, uh, let me show you. And I've wiped down this, I've done this to the this entire side and the back this morning because in the morning this side is in the shade. But uh, I'm just using my ladder. I'm using a uh, wipe down rag and I'm using my uh, chamois to uh, dry it off. And this is the uh, difference. I've done the entire back so far. I hope you can tell the difference. I'll get up close for you on the same kind of colors so you can see that uh, the dirt and the grime. And as everybody who owns a Class A RV knows, these two panel doors, uh, they really catch it because of the uh, they're behind the tires. And I'll get up close on that for you. Okay. Here you can see a spot that I missed, so you can see how dirty it gets. You, I hope you can see that. Um, they get really dirty. And, you know, uh, light colors, everything's nice and clean. I haven't done the windows yet. But as you can see, just wiping it down and drying it off. I assume it's because of that special coating that we paid for. Uh, it gets pretty clean, pretty shiny. Doesn't take too long either. Kind of uh, laborious, I suppose, labor intense, but uh, sure does come uh, clean and looks nice when you're leaving the RV park and rolling down the road. So, oh, here's here. Maybe you can see this. Here's a good uh, a good example of the uh, difference. Check that out. Okay. I hope you can see that. So I'm gonna wait for the sun to uh, get on the other side of the coach, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Just wipe it down with water and dry it. And I'll especially, I'll come back and I'll show you the difference in this right here because this is easy to see. Where the water drains off of the roof and all that right there. I know you guys can see that, right? So I'll come back and uh, show you the difference standing here in the same spot. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll do it like this. So I'm sure as you can tell it's the next morning finished this up yesterday and uh, you know I gotta say that uh, I don't know what that uh, that coating stuff was that we paid for to you know have it put on the coach but uh, <clears throat> it sure was easy to get the coach this clean with nothing more than a bucket of clean water, a uh, rag to wash, wipe it down with, and a chamois to dry it off with. I mean, look at that. We're back to beautiful shiny, you know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong, there's still some things that uh, you're just not gonna get off unless you wash the coach. And, you know, I'm, I'm probably making a bigger deal out of this uh, coating that lets an RV put on the RV for us. But uh, if you've ever had the pleasure of washing one of these big rigs by yourself, and you understand the amount of time that it takes and the effort that you put in doing it, uh, and you compare that to being able to just wipe it off with a wet rag, <laughs> uh, that's a huge difference. So, there you go. Look at that. We got a spider web on it already, just overnight.